So once you've loaded the software, you would click on the A, Audio Base 55 shortcut on your desktop. There is no username and password set. You can set a username and password if you want to, but most people don't. Um, all, all you need to do here is click OK and it will take you into the database. So the database has four different tabs. So we've got a register and within the register, this is everybody that I've ever done a test with. So that's the first tab. Second tab is your details page. Third tab along is the audiogram page. So the fourth tab along, we move on to the next one is the questionnaire. So if we look at the, the black arrow here, if I wanted to move to a record here, I could either tab next to it, but if I was up here and I could see it quite easily, I could move the cursor down using the arrows. As well, if I'm on audiogram and I want to find somebody else's audiogram, I can see the name that I'm currently on. I can also scroll through them and I can see that changing. got somebody who is already in our database and remember we want to keep all their records together we can find them so the magnifying glass hold your cursor over it, it says find click on the magnifying glass you have different fields that you can search by I always find that it's easiest to search by surname I know that I'm looking for my record so I put Monaghan in find first it's jumped to Angus Monaghan so I'm not Angus so let's find first again and it's jumped to Joy so now we've found my record we can just check that none of my details have changed happy with what we've got we then launch the test Next one along is the filter. So if you click on filter, it allows you to filter by the different information that you've put in. So for example, if I wanted to look for everybody within Amplivox with a category three hearing, apply the filter, it's pulled all those records out. So now looking at this list, I can say, okay, with, well, within that Amplivox, we may have a problem with production line B because we've got a few, quite a few category threes there. And then I can go away and I can do further investigation and look to see what is the problem? Why are we seeing a lot of category threes in production line B? Is it that they're not wearing their hearing protection? Um, is it maybe that we've got a faulty machine there that's causing a lot of noise? Or have they even recently changed one piece of equipment for another, which is actually louder, so we need to relook at the hearing protection that they're using? So it allows us to see, is our hearing conservation programme being effective? So that's what the filter's for. Just to, and to bring all the records back, we would just clear the filter and then we've got our full database back. A to Z allows you to sort your database by different fields. So we could sort it alphabetically if we wanted by surname, but the default is the last test date. 